The wild folk used to live like wild animals. And although they can be violent, conquest was one of the many human things they despise. Nonetheless, they became more aggressive recently and attacked the tribe of the Dawn's Gord. I wonder if they are doing this to praise Velus. My lords, the wild folk, they've attacked our Gord! Hurry now, or there will be nothing left of our home. Dear God, so much destruction. Those savages dared to destroy our king's property? Sire, this is unusual. The wild folk are not our allies, but they were never desperate enough to raid a fortified gourd. Something's changed. That doesn't matter, you old fool. They will pay for their insolence. Of course, sire. But now we need to focus on salvaging whatever's left of our structures. We can repair the damage and clean up the rubble and reuse whatever we can. That's good enough. Let's search for the cartographer. He was supposed to lay out the best route for the gold transportation, especially across that damn river. My people have seen this Calanthian a couple of times. Supposedly, he has surrounded himself with traps. Be cautious when you approach his hut. Hulken! Keep your people in line! Why did he flee? The poor soul already suffered so much. Seeing a body mutilated in such a vicious manner, you would think that living here made us indifferent to such views. But it always takes a toll. Your barbarian minds are weak, and this corpse belongs to yet another of your scouts? N no, sire. Judging from the robe, I believe this is the cartographer you were searching for. Cursed lands! Ah! Forget him! We need his maps! Search the hut! Search this cage! Search everything! Sire, we have found the cartographer's notes in his hut. Does it say where to cross the river? I believe it does, my lord, but the marked route requires crossing the nearby swamps. It's a very difficult and dangerous area. You dare to question the expertise of a royal cartographer? If he marked it, that's where we're going. Follow the plan, steward. We've wasted enough time. Savages got what they deserved. They attacked our gourd and killed our people. But you, you are not from around here. I am not. I've been a traveler since my village got destroyed. People call me Lynx. I am Edwin, an emissary of King Isidore II of Calanthia. It seems we share common enemies. What was that? Thing you just did to these savages. Forest tricks. You pick them up if you live here long enough. 
But how come savages are a concern to such fine lords as you? And who are you, old man? I am Bogdan, elder of the tribe of the Dawn, humble servants of Dabo. Dabo? The defeated god of the sun. Watch your tongue, witch. I've lived long enough to recognize forbidden magic when I see it. Helping you is a mistake. Hold on, old man. Undeniably, our new friend has some skills and a grudge against our enemy. I would suggest we join forces and welcome her into our settlement. I wouldn't mind a hot bath. But, sir... You yourself keep reminding us how dangerous these lands are. Well, we could use every pair of hands, especially hands as skilled as these, to deal with those threats until the Calanthian troops arrive, couldn't we? Uh, yes, sire. Very well, then. Let us carry on through those swamps and across the river. There is supposed to be a very nice settlement there. Are you sure you need to go that way? Of course we're sure, woman. We're following the map drawn by the royal cartographer. What is the matter? Well, I think I already got rid of most of the filth on the way here. But beasts, monsters, and wild folk living in those swamps drained my powers almost completely. Beasts and monsters and... Ooh. Building a temple and assigning somebody to pray in it would help me recover much faster. And believe me, you will find my powers useful in those swamps ahead. <clears throat> yes. I believe that we all agree that safety of us, our subjects, is of utmost importance. Let's build this temple of yours first. No one is to enter the swamps before that. Uh, may the gods protect us. I can take care of that, Elder. You just have some faith. Sire, I'm glad that we found time to praise the true gods, but we need to proceed with our plan. The emissary is getting very anxious about it. Brothers ahead. Do you even know what's ahead of us? A river crossing? Yes. Which is also a horror's lair. It's known as Arduin. And it won't let you pass without a sacrifice. Sacrifice? We will wipe this monster from the face of the Earth! Killing a horror is not an easy task, sire. No one has attempted such a feat in years. We would need a great deal of experienced warriors to have a fighting chance. It's much more than a monster. It's a sentient demon, conjured from the most vile souls that Velus could stitch together in the underworld. My magic has no effect on it. If you don't want to die, just comply with whatever it asks you for. Or try a different path. I don't want to hear about a different route. We will follow the plan and give this creature whatever it desires, or kill it for all I care. It's the steward's decision. Dear gods, who could have done this? So many lives lost. What is that? Help me! Left. What? 
happening here? I don't understand it either. But we should leave immediately. He may return at any time. I agree with the witch, sire. Let's hide in the woods and plan our next move carefully. Mm-hmm. <laughs>